Hi, today I want to show you how to upscale video with Seed VR2. I'm going to use the video from my last generation I show you in my tutorial. Unfortunately, that one is in WebP format and low video doesn't support that, so I just get the workflow first. Now, before I do anything, I just want to fix the seed in case I run it many times. So if we look closely, there's a note here, unused. And WebP was our output before, so let me bypass this one and instead use this one. This is a WebM. For codec, I'm going to use AV1 and frame rate 16. And this is the quality. The lower, the better, but larger file size. Since our video is so short, it doesn't really matter to put it very low. This is my personal preference, so you can try with other parameters. Now let me run it. Okay, it's done. It's just exactly the same one as last time. If I go to the output directory, as you can see here, it's in WebM format. Now if we go back to our workflow here, we have generated this in a very low quality. Just five shells by 384. So now let's go to do upscaling. Before doing that, we need to install some nodes here. Go to Custom Nodes Manager and search for seed VR2. As you can see, I've installed this one, the upscaler. And the next one is a video helper suite. And the third one and last one is a Coco Tools IO. Okay, now let's try to create a workflow for upscaling. So just add the low video node. We are going to use the new video. So this is a WebM output we just generated. And frame low cap set to 1. We try it with a single image first. And then we need to add the upscale node. Search for seed VR. Video upscaler. And I'm going to use the 3B FP16. Apparently FP16 use less VRAM than FP8. There's an explanation in the video of AI and VXF channel. So I will put a link in the description. I'm using RTX 4070 with 8 gig of memory. This is the setting for 8 gig RAM, so you can try something else if you have more VRAM. The resolution is the uh, shortest edge in your image or video. The source video is a uh, 510 by 384. Now I am going to change the 384 to 768. And I set the batch size to 1. We are using a single image and this is uh, cleaning the VRAM. Turn it on. So now we need the output node here. Video combine. Connect this to here. And uh, frame rate, it doesn't really matter, but we need uh, output format. Say, put it on WebP. Now let's give it a try and see how it goes. Okay, it's done. Let's have a look at the results. We need to compare, put them next to each other. So I can see the difference here, especially the guy in the back wearing glasses. There are more details here. Okay, let me open the video compare workflow and try to load them. This is just a compare video node. You can install it if you haven't got it. And this is a low video path. So if we have a closer look, on the left hand side is the 
original resolution and you can see the difference here especially this guy here and in the back is a lot of details we can look closer to my hairs here this is a blurry one this is a clear one and you can see the glasses here and also okay now let's do it on video so let's go back to our workflow here before doing that uh, i'm using the rtx 4070 with 8 gig vram and it won't be able to run this we need a extra node here uh, see we are two blocks of config i'm not going to explain this parameter because as i said the channel ai and we accept explain much better i just use for my low ram setting so and this one i have to set to the highest 36 connect to this one here and the other thing is i need to lower this to 720 and batch size i can only use five i can't get higher the highest the better because it's getting the block of frames to process and if you, you will see if it's low the flickering is more extreme this also now i need to set it to the full video and the frame rate i need to change it to 16 and output file 264 mp4 let's try it okay now it's done let's have a look how long did it take 500 seconds so oh, at the beginning i forgot to exit my obs recording and it does use a little bit gpu so you can see the difference here and if i move it here then you can see it's a lot blurrier and the flickering in the background so that's a trade-off i can put it over here and you can see very blurry and this is much better so that's all about the seat vr2 upscaler and if you have a higher vram then of course you can change the parameter and i hope you enjoyed the video if you like it please give me a thumb up thank you for watching bye bye <laughs> videos to watch or you can subscribe and we'll never miss a future video